it's that time we are already here heading into february so february 2021 if you have not picked your card for the month well i should say pick a stack right because i read multiple cards for you go ahead and pick one two three or four and i will read your cards for february all right everybody happy birthday to all of my aquarius by the way all right let's get started okay for stack one right you got this little green one right here stack one let's take a look at the theme for the month for you your theme is the king of swords and the king of swords his theme is all about the mental body the air quality making decisions so your theme this this month is very air quality it's it's very much about thought it's very much about um, your thinking mind it's about you really putting your mental energy into your world really thinking things through um, maybe working on your mental health um, there could be a lot of different things here in terms of your mental um, capabilities um, your mental health all right um, so this one is saying that you know this theme is really focused on you developing that part of yourself you developing that part of your world right so this is a very um this month is going to be very focused on the air element and hey guess what air element is aquarius and we have a lot going on in aquarius right now there's like i think seven planets right now six or seven like planets that are you know aspecting aquarius right now so the king of swords is about you really developing that part of yourself a really good archangel for you to invoke during this time would be raphael raphael is the archangel of air the archangel of mercury the archangel of thought right so start working with that air quality now your stuck emotions ah oh, makes sense right nine of swords this right here is an air card this says that right now you have some stuck emotions in your air element the air element is the heart chakra and the heart chakra is all about flow it's all about opening it's all about um you know you really uh, feeling flowy and good and open but right now the stuck emotions are there so it's called it's causing you some feelings of maybe anxiety depression um, some feelings of stuckness you know um, so it could be that you have been having some sleep issues it could be that you've been having some nightmares or insomnia a little bit um, or it could just be some anxieties okay so this air element this mental stuff is really affecting you right now um, and with the nine of swords uh, it usually affects sleep and stuff but not necessarily for everybody okay so nine of swords some anxiety some really um, just mental stuff going on that's causing you some blocks um, and then we have the three of pentacles for the actions advised so this month you know you have all of this stuff going on with the mental body all of this like stuck emotion in the heart chakra that's causing um, some distress right and so what you should be focusing on is your earth element so even though you're very wrapped up in all of this air stuff and this mental and just thinking too much you need to focus on grounding and a good way to ground is with the three of pentacles three of pentacles is about work and you know really applying yourself to a project um, applying yourself to like creating something in your world this is a creative card it's about you being creative you being very focused on structure very focused on planning very focused on that earthy stuff like grounding yourself and maybe getting out and building something in your backyard or working on a plan that you need to get in place okay so three of pentacles uh very very grounded very very productive very very much about work okay so i'm getting a lot of virgo right here so it wants you to focus more on that six house quality of you know um, creation and service to others and duties and responsibilities every day even like maybe working on your health maybe a plan for health okay um so pentacles though is very focused on that earth stuff so it can be health it can be body it can be like projects and making money it's anything in the physical realm all right so your next one is where you should focus all right so the actions advised were to ground and to really focus on work and responsibilities and planning and doing stuff but your focus for growth and everything should be focused on 
letting go. You got the death card. And the death card is a card of transformation. It's a card of like seriously just new beginnings. <laughs> letting go of the old stuff and like creating a whole new world for yourself, okay? So the death card is advised for you um, in order to move forward this month, in order to really, really start stepping into your next phase of life, um, to really just um, have a better life, to let go of all that mental stuff. It's all about letting go for you. It's about serious psychological transformation. You can do this with workbooks, therapists, shadow work, which is what we um, are doing in the Magical Mystery School. Um, so make sure that you are doing something in terms of um, changing your mental body. You can use affirmations. That's, it's kind of a, it's a good way to go, but it takes a lot of time to reprogram with affirmations. Shadow work is really where you want to start. Um, when you're trying to reprogram and change from the internal alchemy, right? Changing transformation, psychological transformation, and alchemical rituals will also help you go through this process a lot easier and faster because you start changing your vibration and shifting it up. And then when you start actually reprogramming and doing shadow work and letting everything release, it's easier to start moving forward and opening up and shifting into a new consciousness, okay? So your last card, your last card is the growth that you're going to get this month. So this month is really about you. Again, you got transformation. This is the judgment card. You see everybody coming out of the coffins. It's like they're renewed by the archangel up here. And um, this right here is about uh, that alchemical process of you've already purged, you've gone to the death through the death experience, and now you are being renewed reborn into spirit and so this is a time of renewal for you <laughs> if you chose b i mean a or one for stack one you are about to go through some major transformations so even though you have you know all this mental stuff going on right now and the anxieties and stuck emotions heart chakra stuff you know i really see this like this almost like an isolation right now or an isolation that you've been going through in a lot of ways spiritually maybe I see you coming out of this and I see this month being a good time for you to really, really renew. So make sure you're doing your work, make sure you're meditating, make sure you're doing something to step forward this month because the judgment card is about you coming out with better judgment. Um, you being able to renew not only your, you know, your mental body, but your spiritual body. Okay. So this is a time of renewal for you. This is a great card. I love the judgment card. It's one of my favorite cards because it, it's like things are going to get better, you know? So even though you're going through a lot of this stuff right now, it looks like things are really going to get better. Just make sure that you think about the cards that I, I gave you this month and really focus on that. Maybe do some meditation on it. All right. So we're going to move on to stack two. Stack two. All right. You have the crystal quartz here, wand. All right. Your first card is the Ten of Wands, and this is the theme for the next month for you, for February, all right? The theme is the Ten of Wands, and this is, you can even just look at this card. You see the baggage on him? Okay, so you have this energy of, of baggage, of burden, um, this weighing down on your energy. Um, this, it's, a, it's a lower vibration that's weighing on you. And this is coming from your past. It's coming from relationships. It's coming from things being imbalanced, right, in your life. It's like weighing on you. And so let's take a look at your stuck emotions. Okay, so your stuck emotions actually balance. Stuck emotions is coming from imbalance from, for you. All right, that, that goes right in hand, hand in hand with that Ten of Wands, feeling the burden, feeling like things are just off, too, you know, the energy vibration is just dragging you down. And so the stuck emotions that you have are that you're, ba you're out of balance. It's like your energies are not balanced. Your energies are off. You can kind of see things around you. You can see when things are off. You, you know. And, you know, with the justice card, it's like you're a seeker of truth. You're always trying to figure everything out and you're always trying to fix everything, probably, even if it's just in your own head. And so the justice card is saying that things are out of whack and you know it and you see it and you feel burdened by it. 
But the problem is not that you need to fix everything on the outside. There's some other stuff going on, okay? So your energies are out of whack, but this is, has more to do with you always trying to fix everything and everybody else and helping too much, okay? You don't necessarily have to do that. In fact, the actions advised here are the world card. And that means dancing lightly because everything changes and the universe spins as it should, right? Natural law is in place. Things are happening as they should. Things are happening with whatever balance they're in, okay? So instead of trying to control things, dance lightly. And these four symbols here, they, they symbolize a few things, but one of the things they symbolize is that everything changes. These are four fixed signs of the zodiac. Okay, and the four fixed signs symbolize that, you know, no matter how much you want things to stay fixed and stay the same um, and, and to be right, um, they're always going to be in this flux. Everything is always changing, right? We go through reincarnation, we go through all these things and things shift and we go through cycles with the sun and moon, we go through astrological cycles, we go through seasonal cycles, we go through relationship cycles. You ever notice patterns in your life throughout the year? tend to replay all the time, right? So things are always going to be shifting and you have to learn to, to dance more lightly with it and to go more with the flow and to tap more into the astral, the higher realms and just to allow, okay? In fact, let's take a look at your next card and this is where you should focus this month. You should focus on the Seven of Cups and you know, this is an odd card to get, right, for where you should focus because it looks very unfocused with how all of this stuff is going on. And so it's telling you that you need to focus more in the imagination. You need to focus more in the realm of the astral. You need to focus more in the lightness and the air quality and, and getting more into that almost like Neptunian, Piscean type of way of being. Just being kind of go with the flow, letting things happen, letting go more, looking at possibilities and opportunities, tapping more into your dreams, doing dream journaling, getting more into the air, right? Getting more into the letting go, into the astral, do more meditation, more alchemy, more tantra, more kundalini, more qigong, more energy work, right? So letting go, getting maybe a little bit higher vibration this month. And then we have the Eight of Cups as your big finale card. <laughs> Actually, this ties perfectly in, right? Because the Eight of Cups, this is where you are growing. And this month, the growth you are having is in letting go. This is a card of walking away. This is a card of letting go. And you see what it's walking away from is cups. Cups are all about your emotions. Cups are all about your heart, your emotional, like, um, sensitivities, where you're, you're attracted to something, whether you're attached to something, you're learning to let go. This is where you're going to grow the most, the most this month. If you take my advice, this is where you're going to grow. Letting go. You know, instead of being so wrapped up and attached to all these burdens and having them weigh you down, you're going to learn to dance lightly. You're going to learn to be more in balance and you're going to really start focusing on yourself a little bit more rather than everybody else's energies and all the external stuff that you've tried to fix, you're gonna let go and you are going to feel so much more free as you just go, I don't need that anymore. I don't need that old energy. I don't need people weighing me down. I just need to be a little bit more free with my own energy. And that's where I see you going in February. I see it lightening up for you, you learning to let go, feeling more free, and just being able to walk away from things or situations or environments or whatever it might be that's not serving you. Okay, so this is like a freedom month for you, but it's not going to be that easy. It's just that this is where I see you going. I see you lightening it up by the end of the month. Okay, stack three. You chose this little guy here. Pretty little blue one, right? Little wand. These are great for doing energy work, by the way, if you've never used one. Anyways, let's look at your cards. We have the Knight of Swords as your theme for February. This theme is a theme of, <laughs> I would call this the tornado or hurricane card a lot of times, 
because this card is, it's a very fast card. It's very up in the air. It's very ungrounded. And so I really see the theme for you being that you're rushing too much, that your energy and your, you know, is just too much. You're overwhelmed. You're just going too fast. You're busy. Your mind is just going too fast. You're just very ungrounded and your mental body is just kind of all over the place. Um, so that, or you could be running away from something, <laughs> but I'm really getting that a lot of you are just more scattered and more busy and stressed and just going, 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 and just not feeling like you are grounded and not feeling clear, feeling just very up in the air and very busy and stressed out. Okay. So then we have the star card. This is your stuck emotions and the star card is your chakra system and your auric field, your energy body, your light body. And so stuck emotions are your chakras are pretty blocked up. And so that means your low chakras are the most blocked up. Your Kundalini is not flowing. Your light body is a little weak. Okay. Um, you're feeling drained, right? Um, and so things are just not moving for you. Things are not manifesting for you because of all this stuck energy, because of all of this, um, there's suppressed emotions, things you don't want to deal with, you're too busy to deal with them. And um, so it's really holding you back in a lot of ways. Okay, so that's your stuck emotions. Now, actions advised is seven of swords. So seven of swords, you can see that he's looking back at the two swords back here, old decisions. So actions advised here are for you to not look back. Stop looking back and thinking about old decisions because really you're gonna cut yourself, okay? Um, and so you can see holding five swords is not a good way to go about change. Holding old stuff that just kind of cuts you, not a good way to go about things. So it, this is a card of saying, all right, stop looking back, let go of the past, because this is a mental card. It's very much about thoughts. It's very much about the mental stuff. And so you're already stressed out. You don't need to be thinking about things that have happened in the past at this point. You need to got to you got to come back into the present because the next card is where you should focus. All right. And um, so the focus for you should be on your heart, on clearing and just really nurturing yourself. This is a card of self nurturance. It's a card of the cancer. OK, cancer, that element, that um, sign is is very much the healer of the inner child, the healer of the inner wounds, the healer of the self, the healer of that part of you um, that is very vulnerable. OK, so this is telling you that you need to focus on self nurturing this this month. You need to focus on your fourth house, that house of self nurturing, that house of inner child work. If you knew, or if you're feeling like really um, like this, just like looking back too much and feeling like you're cutting yourself, um, you really need to focus on this card this month. You need to focus on that inner child work. Um, in fact, uh, it was I think Dr. Bradshaw. If you look him up, he does inner child work. He has like um, books on inner child work. You can start there. Um, that's a good way. Another way is to do some shadow work, some cleansing, alchemical work, right? Um, but the Queen of Cups is a card of nurturing. And so that's really what you need to be focusing on because where you're going to grow the most this month, the growth should be in that part of you, that archetype that is the Empress. And the Empress is your creative potential, your potential to create create anything from a human <laughs> making babies, right? To creating something like a beautiful project, maybe a baby in terms of like a business or a project. Um, but this is where you're going to grow the most. You're going to grow in your creative potential in that ability to create. Okay. Whether it's with your body, your mind, your spirit, whatever it may be, your hands. Um, I see that being a big part of this month. This growth phase is about you producing, you creating, you tapping into that part of yourself that look at your Venus sign and this, the house that Venus is in, in your chart, your natal birth chart. And you're going to see a little bit more about how you can create a little bit more about how you can really love yourself, that part of yourself that is very attractive that you've suppressed a little bit too much. So work on your Venus. 
work on that part of yourself that, you know, healing that part of yourself that um, you're always projecting on other people. That's your Venus. You, you tend to project that on other people and think that they have those qualities, but really you have those qualities. You just need to go through some good inner child work and some self-nurturing to really understand that that's a part of you and that you have this ability to love yourself, to create, and to really just have a wonderful, wonderful life in terms of the internal, in terms of feeling good every day, okay? So this is such a really nice card. It's one of my favorite cards. It's such a beautiful card in terms of your own energy. And this is where I see you growing the most this month. So that's pretty awesome. <laughs> Stack four. You picked this little hematite uh, wand. And so, you know, you could do energy work with these guys if you don't know. <laughs> Anyways, let's take a look at your cards. Your first card is the Six of Wands. And the Six of Wands is a card of victory. So the theme for this month, for February for you, is that this is going to be a month that you are going to be able to have so much potential by the end of the month. This is going to be a really good month for you if you followed my advice here, all right? Because the Six of Wands, this is such a great card for growth. I mean, look at all this green, right? And you can see the, the wreath of victory up here. Um, he's on the horse and the horse is like looking back at him, which is a very, this is um, a white horse of spirit. And so, you know, this is like, he is just on the way, all right? So this is a victory card and that's just what this month is about for you. Now, your stuck emotions, your stuck emotions, we have the four of pentacles. That means this is your root chakra. This is your energy of balance in terms of money, finances, stability, abundance. This is where you're stuck, okay? So it's not really flowing enough for you. Um, you're a little bit stuck in feeling like you have to create security in your life, um, like things are out of balance for you in terms of your earth element, your root chakra, feeling like you can manifest things. You're just feeling a little bit stuck there, okay? Like things just aren't flowing enough. And so the actions advised are the queen of pentacles, or king of pentacles. <laughs> I feel like a lot of you might be ladies. Um, king of pentacles is a card of wealth, abundance, and success, all right? So this is your actions advised, is for you to actually start meditating on the King of Pentacles, the part of you, that archetype of yourself that is the ultimate manifester, the ultimate in terms of you creating abundance in your life, you feeling unstuck, feeling successful, feeling like things flow to you easily, Okay, first and second chakra are so, so important here. Okay, the king of pentacles, he has a good, you know, that root and that sacral chakra, they are just flowing. They are letting people come and just bring them things. Okay, so king of pentacles, this is like fruitfulness, abundance, success. And so this is really you where you need to be focusing. You need to be doing some meditative alchemical work in terms of like clearing your energy, letting things in, working with those low chakras, doing some kundalini yoga maybe. If you're in my program, you have that, um, that kundalini yoga stuff. Okay, so the emperor is your next card. This is where you need to focus. So yes, actions advised where you, for you to meditate, work on these second and first chakras and everything, but then your focus this month should be on this emperor. The Emperor is a card of the Ram, Aries. And so your focus should be on you creating, on you initiating, on you kind of taking over and leadership over yourself and feeling that fire, that heat, that ambition, getting things really moving, okay? Burning down the old and moving on with the new. Okay, so this is a card of burning it down. It's a card of fire. It's a card of letting go of like old cords of attachment and really just focusing on moving forward, being spontaneous, taking that initiation, you know, really just getting control of your life, okay? So meditate on this emperor card this month and see what he has to tell you because he has something to say to you specifically, each one of you inside of yourself because we all have the emperor within us and he has some good advice for you, so I do suggest doing a little bit of meditation with him. Because your ultimate growth 
this month is going to be the magician card that's pretty awesome that ties perfectly in with all of this because this is about manifesting this is about you being able to create the external life that you want um, by internally changing first as within so without as above so below that's what this card is about it's about the law of correspondence and so the law of correspondence states that internally whatever you are internally and whatever blocks you have internally is what you're manifesting externally okay so the magician is telling you clear inside burn it down like the emperor says right clear purge get things out but also Focus on your abundance, focusing on clearing those lower chakras, getting things moving, doing some kundalini yoga, clearing the blocks, and really creating an internal environment where now your external environment is reflecting that happiness, reflecting that flow, reflecting that abundance, that feeling of success, okay? That's where the law of attraction comes from, is primarily from the law of correspondence. It's to clear and alchemically change the inside in order to change your out, outside world. Okay, so the magician, this is where you're going to grow the most this month. You're going to be a better manifester by the end of this month if you take this advice and you really, really work on this like king of pentacles, focusing on him, working on that earth element within you and really focusing on, you know, burning down the old and renewing your spirit and that way your internal will now reflect a better external environment for you, okay? So, have a wonderful February.